to uh, send text reminders, plan out their code fellow schedule, and today you're going to get to see the results of them spending four weeks learning Android. Cloud. <laughs> they also learned to use AWS to build a back end for their application, so you'll see their application uses a variety of AWS services. Ah. <laughs> yes, Michelle. <laughs> we're extremely proud of what these developers have built together. And we're glad you're here to help celebrate their accomplishments. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get these presentations started. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, friends and family on the internet. Amazon, Paula, I hope you're watching. Uh, hello, everybody. We are team, I don't know, Java, Java Awesome, Zombie Tag. My name is John. Uh, I am a software developer. I was a veteran. Served in the, well, yes, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Anywho, I was in the military for 10 years, uh, separated. I loved it, but it really wasn't what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I came here to try this out, and I'm very glad that I did. Next. Oh, okay. Hi, my name is Sarah Fisher. My background is in environmental science and higher education administration, and gender is still awesome. Um, <laughs> I got into coding because I really want to build things that make the world a little bit better, and I'm really hoping to focus on conservation in the future. But I have some work to do before then. Hi, my name is James. I uh, was a research engineer, and I caught the coding bug from using Python for cleaning up experimental data. Decided to come here and make a career change, and uh, now I'm a full stack developer. Hey everybody, my name is Kwong. I'm previously a graduate from UW with a mechanical engineering degree, but uh, I found that I kind of love coding a little bit more, and so coming here is really great that I learned like more coding and get to work with awesome people like this team right here. And I'm hoping to work on more awesome projects in the future. How's it going? My name is Aaron Sweat. I'm a former Army medic, uh, served nine years, and I just had a passion for solving problems. Um, thought about developing apps while I was in the military and decided to go on and make that happen. Um, pretty stoked to now be a full stack Java and Android developer. Hi, my name is Sharina Stubbs. I'm a software developer. Um, I have a past experience in medicine. I was a primary care naturopathic doctor for about six years full time. And I started realizing that there were so many things that I was missing out on in terms of being able to create these wonderful solutions to puzzles and being able to build things and being able to create things that I was essentially replacing with paperwork all the time. And so I started dabbling in Python and JavaScript and HTML and I ended up at Codefellows and I ended up studying JavaScript and um, Java. And Java is amazing, so I highly recommend it. Been wonderful. So I'm looking forward to putting all my skills together and entering into the workforce again. Very excited, and I'm really glad you guys are here. Thanks. Oh yeah. So we decided to make an Android app. Uh, it's for playing tag with your friends. So when you first load up the app, it'll show you and your friends on a, a map. And some of you will be it, and some of you will not be it. And then the people who are it can chase down the normal people and tag them to be it. And then you chase down the remaining normal people. So we decided to call it Zombie Tag because it's a bunch of zombies chasing down the humans. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> so when we first chose to do a app based on the game of tag, we realized that uh, how are you going to tag people using tech? So we looked at a couple different options. We looked at distance. Can you use the GPS between two players? Uh, QR codes, maybe the players would wear a QR code and you'd have to scan it to tag them. Or facial recognition using the camera. So we, we faced a problem trying to figure out whether we were gonna do tag or epidemic. Uh, tag has no end. It is an infinite loop. Epidemic was something that we could work with to create an end, 
and possible winners for a winner. So we went with epidemic instead of town. Yeah. Uh, they're going to get set up with a demo for you guys. Hopefully this goes well. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Uh, so what we've got here is we've got simulators on our on our computers here. Um, so for those of you guys who haven't worked with a simulator, this this allows us to be able to test our work as we're going. It's great for people who don't have Android phones. Um, some of us have Android phones. We're able to just plug it right into our computer um, instead of or in addition to this. Um, we've got our app here. We've got a sign-in ability. We've got a username and password. Bobby tag right here. Um, and uh, so that's that's a permission just allowing people to allowing the app allows you then to be able to um, the app <laughs> pardon me um, the permission just lets it lets the app be able to access your your location. Um, so what they're doing right now is that they're actually creating a new game. Um, we've got this page allows you to create a new game or join a game. We're going to start the new game, and it takes a little bit to load. There it goes. And we have a map that gets pulled up. And right. the first person who enters the game is the infected zombie person. So there you go. So now we have the um, these guys here are actually entering the game. Um, and they are not infected. There's James. There's Michelle. Who's, who's the one who started the game? It's John, right? John. Yeah, so John's the one in the middle. Jeff, I think you're out of bounds. Ah, there. Jeff, where'd you go? So, with <laughs> the, um, so pardon me, um, emulators, pardon me, is actually the correct term here for our, our computer guys over here. The cool thing about it is that you can actually set your Latin long for what you want it instead of one of us running outside the building <laughs> or running down the hallway. So that's what's going on here. That's why you're seeing different... Um, positions, brainless zombie. <laughs> I don't know, they, they got All right, so game and tag. So zombie, John is going to come after <laughs> the other people. He's literally changing his Latin long right now. Which way do I go? His GPS coordinates. Thank you, James. Yeah. <laughs> if this was real life, no, if this was a real life game, we'd literally be running through the streets of Seattle right now. <laughs> Simulator. <laughs> and so you become a zombie. Via, via distance, when you get close yeah. to that person. Ah. <laughs> <Not me>. <laughs> <laughs> now James can run up and take so imagine, Just imagine James now running after these folks down the street. And there's a whole interaction going on right now with database, with our database. Hey, good job. <laughs> and the yeah, epidemic yeah. spread. <laughs> so you can see up here what they're doing is they're actually changing the position of the player right now just to make this all oh, Michelle. Michelle and Jeff. Oh, Michelle and Jeff. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jeff is the winner. Jeff is the last one left alive. Anyway. <laughs> 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 He's quick. Yeah. Jeff, slow down. We knew he could run so fast. <laughs> Come on, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys will notice these circles are populated with the actual um, little caricature, and so that is, you know, a part of telling the, the app how far away you are from the other person. Um, yeah, let's show the database. Yeah, we're going to show you guys the database. Um, this is called DynamoDB, and there's there's many options for databases. This is this worked for us. Um, and so with the database, we've got columns that we created, a lot of data here. Um, what's really key is um, what's really key is this column called is it. It's the boolean or true or false essentially that we use in our code that that is part of the whole game logic of is the person a zombie or is the person not a zombie. That was really such shockingly complicated. 
And so, is it if they're false, that means that they're not a zombie, and you got some people who are uh, probably in different sessions. Yeah, different sessions. Yeah. A lot of things going on. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> but that's database is for you. So our app was communicating back and forth from the database to the database to make all this happen. Cool. Um, okay, so making it work, we've talked a little bit about uh, the database that's done in WebDB. Um, we, obviously Java, so Java was a big thing. Um, Android, this, this app is for Android phones. Um, as part of the, you know, as part of Android, we used uh, technology like location. We actually did do a part of our app that involved the camera, which we'll show you in, in two secs. Um, um, yeah, it does say vibrator up there. There actually is an Android. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but we are actually trying to make the phone vibrate when you're tagged. Um, and so there's features in our app that we weren't actually able to fully build out, unfortunately, but they're there in some chunk and some form of it. Um, we worked with Google Maps SDK uh, for Android, so that's what you guys saw in the background. And then AWS um, Amplify is, is something that allows us to be able to install in technologies um, and work with them in the back end um, for, um, to you know, really be able to make things work in the app. Um, and then subscriptions were, is something that, that allows us to get live data from the database when things change. That was so huge. So when someone gets changed from true or false in the is it column, a subscription tells us that that happened. And so then we can do something in the code. Um, and then S3, Cognito is part of the author, um, user auth. Um, do we want to show the phone really quick? The, the camera? Yeah. Oh, so 